All right, so this is the test run for my aquaponics system. Um, it's real rough right now. I just grabbed materials that I had lying around that I could throw together just to kind of test the idea before I started dumping money into it to make it look pretty. So I'll start with the plants. So we have basil plant, which is growing really well, although these leaves are starting to yellow a little bit, so that must be some kind of nutrient deficiency. And then some cherry tomato plants, which I'm going to have to space out pretty quickly because they're growing very fast. We've got the uh, automatic overflow system. There's a million videos for these on uh, YouTube that you can find, but the basic idea is, is that it creates a siphon as long as the water level is up to this hole. Once the water level drops below that hole, it stops. So that way it doesn't just suck the water out continuously. Then on the back, see if we can get in behind here, we have a bulkhead that leads to a drain pipe, which is pretty rigged up right now. And you can see the drain pipe kind of going through the back there. And then that comes in, not this pipe, that's one of my Pleco caves. And then it comes over here and it's draining into this, uh, I think it's like a 9 or a 10 gallon trash can. And you can see the pump in there with a the rock holding it down because the suction cups suck. So that obviously pumps the water back in. You can see it's not going very heavily right now. And that's kind of by design. One of the things I wanted to make sure of is that if this overflow gets clogged and it's no longer pumping water in, I didn't want the pump to be sucking, you know, putting all that water in here and then overflow my tank. So this pump, and I can put put the uh, put what it is in the description, but it's an 80 gallon per hour pump, and it's just strong enough to get the water from that trash can up over the tank and into it. And the idea behind that is if water stops flowing into here, this pump needs the weight of the water to push that water up to the tank. So if it stops filling, it no longer has sufficient weight to get it up there, and this will actually stop. So what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to pull this overflow up, put a little sponge in there to prop it up, and then that will stop draining water into the plants, which will then in turn prevent water from flowing into here. My hope is that this stops dripping before it overflows the tank. And obviously, I'll shut it off early if it looks like that's not going to happen. So we'll test that out and see if that works. And again, I know it's real rough right now. I literally just walked around my house and grabbed anything I could. I mean, you see, I've got, I've got some wire holding this in. That doesn't go all the way in the tank, by the way. But wire holding that up so that way the hose can sit over the tank. Um... I've just got some shop lights right now uh, rigged up over my plants. Now, these shop lights I got off Amazon. I think I got like, I can't even remember how many I got now. I think I got like six of them for, I don't know, 40 bucks or something like that, under $40. Um, and they, they're actually what I use to start my seedlings for my garden outside. And they do a really good job. So I figured I might as well try them in here. All right. So let's go ahead and prop this up, see if I can do this with one hand. All right, now that's going to stop sucking water. So you can see the water is now dripping, but that's going to stop. And then eventually, this will stop. Oh, that might take a while. We got about six feet of PVC back there, so it might take a bit. While we're waiting for that to stop, I guess I can it's starting to slow down now. But I guess I can show you around a little bit. So I. Initially kind of took down my fish room. I know you got quite a glare going on. Here, let me shut the light off real quick. Yeah, that's not much better. So yeah, so initially I took down my fish room, took all my tanks down except for two, which were my 55 and my 90. That didn't last long. I've now set them back up. So this tank, I've got obviously tons of guppy grass, and then I just loaded it with quartz because I thought that that would look pretty cool on the blasting sand. So it's just a bunch of quartz in there. I'm not really sure what I'm going to fill the tank with. I may grab some platies that I like and start throwing them in there to see if I can get breeding a little bit. And then I got another 20 down here. Again, loaded with guppy grass. Got some dragon stone and some sand. And again, there are no fish in this tank yet, but I might use it as like a selective breeding tank. Um, but the guppy grass is loving it. And then this one over here, super dark, but it's also packed with guppy grass. Um, and it also has one of those just like standard lights that you get with the kits. Um, so the light's not very strong, but I had a 14 watt Hyger light on it before 
and it was just too much. All right, so this has now pretty much stopped draining. So my hope is that this will eventually stop before it overflows the tank. And you can see we got a little bit of room left to go. And this might be a boring video of me just sitting here watching this. But hopefully that's gonna shut off. And if it doesn't, what I'm gonna do is actually just pull a little bit of water out of this until it does stop. And then that will balance the system so that way if it ever does stop pumping, uh, pulling water out of the tank, then it won't have sufficient weight from this water to pump it into the tank. So a little time lapse. Uh, you can see we're almost down to a drip now. It's just trickling out and I still have plenty of room before it starts to overflow. So that amount of water should be fine. Um, so that's going to prevent it from draining the what's going to be a sump. Right now it's just trash can. Eventually it's going to be a sump. Um, but that's going to prevent it from draining the sump into the tank and overflowing it. Yeah, it's starting to pick up. Yeah, it's going to stop. We'll be fine. So then if we come back over here, we pull the sponge out and then get that back down in there. And then that should start the siphon again. So you can see we're draining out now. And then that in turn should come down here. We should see some water coming down here pretty quick. It's a pretty exhilarating video. Waiting for some water to pour out. There she goes. And then as that fills up, that will then give this a little bit more weight so that way it can continue the cycle. So that's the plan. Uh, we're gonna give it a couple days and see how it goes. And then if it does work and everything's looking good, then I'm gonna try to kinda make the system a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so it's not just a bunch of stuff thrown together. And then obviously I'm gonna expand too um, get some more plants going. Eventually, I'd like this whole counter here kind of covered with plants because this window, um, I get natural sunlight through that window. So along with the shop lights I have, that gives it a pretty good amount of, of light to grow. So yeah, so that's my aquaponics system, rough draft number one. Uh, feel free to give me any advice or comments, suggestions, um, anything like that. I'm always looking to kind of improve my system and kind of take things to the next level. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys all soon.